I had a look at his contracts and I said to him, we've got a little problem here, darling. The old thing is gone, hasn't it? But what have we got with our new thing? In England, people's status as employee or self-employed is defined by how you work with them. We need to set up our businesses so that when things go wrong, we've got a little bit more than, oh, I'm not very happy about that. She will have your people in stitches. Ever tried saying to the tax man, my faith was so strong that I know I don't owe you any money. When is the worst time to decide who owns what? When you already fighting. I don't expect my best friends to sign a contract with me before we go down the pub. But if I'm buying a pub and they're going to work in it, I would expect a decent and clear contract. And I would expect to still be friends with them when all of that is done. Absolutely brilliant. I was stunned by how good she was. She uses humour, she uses all sorts of quirky ways to get her message across. How many businesses really run on two buses? Mm. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? Do you work with friends and family, ladies? Yep. How's that going for you? <laughs> Still friends? <laughs> Still related? <laughs> if it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, and it cracks like a duck, chances are it's the duck. How often have you let a freelancer go without a conversation? If you're still going on going, oh no, there's no tax issues, there's no legal issues, you and my little leprechaun are going to be the best of friends. What's the one set of rights that most bosses are really afraid of getting on the wrong end of? Equality and discrimination, isn't it? It is the Wild West, but you don't want to be the guy who loses the fight at the OK Corral, do you? She's very knowledgeable and also very entertaining, so a pleasure to listen to.